now we're ready to move on and actually start cutting out some of the actual parts of the um, desk. Uh, as you can see here, I've uh, cut out the legs. I'm not going to show every time I um, go back and mill some parts to size. That's something I'm taking it for granted that you know how to do, and that's not what this video is about, uh, machining, uh, you know, knowing how to flatten and square things up. So, um, as you can see, let's take a closer look down here. I've got some markings here I want to show and explain. Okay, these uh, markings help me orient um, the legs. There's six legs here. Uh, each one gets some sort of different machining, and I want to be able to take them apart, put them back together real quick, and get them in their uh, orientation. Um, and in order to do that, you can see I got this lettering. Uh, left rear, middle rear, right rear, left front, middle front, right front. That tells me there, gives me a verbal reference to where they go. Uh, but also I've got these little short dashes here, lines, and they're color coded. Each connection here has its own unique set of colors. So if I go to put this back together, <coughs> I can see right away that this doesn't fit and this does. So that helps me put it back in order really quick. But beyond that, I want to show you something on top here as well. I've put a green line across all the faces. These faces don't get any machining in this project, so if I know I pick up a piece and I start to put a mortise on a face that has a green line on it, that's a big red flag. Um, a note here, uh, the cut list that goes along with the uh, purchase package of the uh, plans um, is for floating tenons. I'm not wedded to any sort of, you know, that my way or, you know, any other way, you know, my way is the right way. If you're wanting to do traditional tenons, you're going to have to take a look at all those pieces that would have a traditional tenon and add that into the length. Because um, I'm going to do uh, mostly floating tenons on the uh, multi-router. I have a drawing that I call the leg map. It lays out all the legs, and each le any leg that has any uh, machining done on it is laid out like this. If there's no machining, there's no view coming out that end. So that's a reference for uh, getting dimensions of the location of the um, mortises. Let's take a look not at that one, this one. Here's, now there's one instance in this left rear corner here uh, where there will be a mortise that comes in from both sides. These are floating tenons, so this floating tenon will have to come in and meet right there and 45. Uh, there's no other instances of that. Uh, I'm going to start my mortising with the 3 8 mortises that are on this wave rail here, this wavy rail. Um, and the locations, you'll see that this goes down to some thousandths of an inch. Uh, that wave just kind of goes wherever it wants to go uh, you're just going to have to get out the calipers and try to be as close as you possibly can. If, it's, if you're off very much, you're going to uh, have a hard time getting uh, this reveal. These are inset uh, drawers, and there's a 16th inch reveal all around. So that location of those mortises are uh, rather important. Uh, there's five 16th mortises, and they go on all the other solids, all the solids that are straight as opposed to curved. Uh, there's uh, veneered panels on the side and the back here, uh, and we don't do worry about those quite yet. Uh, and again, uh, these are all on the uh, map, and you can take dimensions, or there will be dimensions on these um, as well. Now, uh, right here on the back leg, left rear, there's also hinge mortises. I'm not concerned with that one quite yet. We're going to have to make a, um, a routing template. At least that's how I do it. You may have a different method uh, uh, to put those in. Right now, I'm just concentrating 
on the uh, rails for the solid, on, on the uh, mortises for the solid rails, the straight ones and the curved. And they, uh, like I said, the uh, curved ones are 3 8 inch rails. The uh, straight ones are all 5 16 inch rails. So time to head over to the multi-router. I have two uh, pro scales on here so I can dial in uh, the location of a mortise very, very quickly. Uh, but that's not necessary. Uh, one thing I do need to mention, though, is in the drawings, I give the size of the mortise on both sides uh, as exactly the same. But on the side where you would traditionally have a mortise, as opposed to the side that traditionally is the tenon, on that mortise side, I enlarge it by maybe a heavy 32nd at each end. So I have a little adjustment there. So I'm going to get started uh, and then... So we've got all the mortises done in the legs that go to the rails. We still have one set of mortises to do, and that's for this hinge here. The support uh, bracket here has hinges uh, that tie into the left rear leg. So these are the hinges I use uh, for the swing arm. They're Horton Brass's PB408 brass butt hinge. Um, they're kind of pricey, but uh, I, I just like them. They just feel good. They, they're kind of substantial and, and uh, just makes me feel like I'm using some quality stuff. Um, you may use other hinges as well. Uh, now, you may have your own method for um, routing in or, or just cutting in for the uh, mortises for the hinges. That's fine. Go ahead and do it. Uh, if you uh, want to use my method, I will go through that. Uh, First of all, let's take a look at the jig here. Uh, this is the spacing. This uh, swing arm goes in there, registers at the top right here. And so this space, this registers that. That's that's a, that's a critical spacing. This is the spacing in between the hinges. The space right here is where the route out happens. And you can see there's just a slightest bit of give in there. I don't want too much. I don't want it to be sloppy. And this is the bit I'm using. Uh, it's a flush trim. Um, and it just, in here, routes out nice. Now, one point I need to make. Here's my mock-up. The swing arm goes in here, and if you notice, right up here, there's a uh, trim piece. And um, so when we use this jig with the leg, we have to use a spacer in here to um, represent that uh, trim piece when we're routing. So at this point, I'm only going to route uh, into the legs. Uh, I haven't cut out the uh, swing arm yet, but I want to do the routing in here before I uh, glue them up, and I want to get all this machining done on the legs now.
like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoor Forever free You can tell 